Hello everyone, this is Flip Taku here on PS3 Gaming Blog, giving you another one of my opinions. Now before I start, well, well before I start, everyone knows I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, and as the title says, this is all going to be about Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, uh, actually on an interesting note, I am f finishing up the interview I did with Quentin Flynn. It's taking a little longer than I expected because it happened during the finals week and I'm just tired. I just want to relax from finals and now I'm almost done with the videos so they should be posted up soon. Yes, Quentin Flynn. Uh, Metal Gear fans will definitely know him as Raiden. So, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Metal Gear Solid 4, the possibility of a re-released version. Not the re-release as in the Platinum version that came out. You know, now it's cheaper for people to buy. No, I'm talking about the um, the, uh, the re-release they did similar with Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance and Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. Now, first off, let me just break this up into some similar to, to uh, uh, basic categories. First off is, uh, well, here are the categories. Pricing, content, and console exclu exclusive. Exclusivity. I don't know. But, okay, let's talk about with con with uh, console exclusive, the console exclusive. Okay, if they do re-release this, yes, it'll be on PS3, definitely. But is it going to be on the Xbox 360? That is... I don't know what to say about that. The possibility is there. But the thing is, with that, they would need to, you know... It would take them more time to do it. But... It would take them more time because they have to port it over make sure it works. It'll be on multiple discs for the Xbox 360, like Final Fantasy... Uh, 13, which is multiple discs for the 360, and all on just one Blu-ray for the PlayStation 3. A and uh, it'll probably be also, MGO will be using the Xbox Live services. Now, again, I'm not too sure about if this is going to happen, but there is possibility it is. It would be, m there would be even more of a possibility if Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, Subsistence was released for X, for the original Xbox during its PS2 release, um, because I saw in a one-up video that Kojima said it would make more sense having MGO on Xbox Live. So, if it if it was released for the Xbox, then yeah, I would say it would it might it probably have a good chance release for the Xbox 360. Still, I don't know if this is going to happen. Let's just say it is up there, but it's not confirmed or denied. There's not I'm not going to say there's a high possibility or low possibility. It's just the fact of the matter. It is it is up there. And I would hate to see a placed a PlayStation game, a play uh, well a PlayStation exclusive now to be um, to be uh, to be uh, multi-platform. And don't say, oh, it started on the the NES, no, or the SNES, no, it didn't. The original Metal Gear version was on the MX MSX, and then it got ported over to the Nintendo system. But Hideo Kojima had nothing to do with it, so a lot of things, so a couple of things were different, including the fact that the final boss wasn't Metal Gear, but just the supercomputer. Well, the final thing was you had to destroy destroy Metal Gear going through the tubes and the guided rocket, but the final boss, the final level was you just destroying a supercomputer. Yeah. But, uh, again, as of right now, it's just up in the air. The possibility is there. It can go both ways. Okay, pricing. Um, since they're since they're re-releasing it, uh, you could probably expect it. It is probably going to be around, I want to say the price, since the uh, original, I believe. Let's, I'm just going to go on uh, GameStop real quick. Because Amazon.com has different prices and it's cheaper, and they are selling it for oh, actually, they are selling it for nineteen dollars with the re-release, you know, platinum version. Wow, that's wow, damn. After that amazement there. Okay. 
so it's twenty dollars in GameStop. You can probably expect the twenty to thirty dollars similar to both online and on other stores like Best Buy. If they re-released it, we can probably see the price tag at about around forty to sixty dollars around there. Uh, what they might probably do is release a um, release a collector's version with it, like they did with uh, subs uh, subsistence. Which uh, it, again, it could happen if they did. I would definitely put down money for a pre-order. But um, I'll talk about more of that later on for if the collector's version. But yeah, forty to sixty dollars sounds solid, and it's probably going to be around there. So. Okay, content-wise. Now, let me talk about the Collector's Edition po possibility. Now, if they do re-release this, um, there is a possibility that we might also see a Collector's Edition, a collector's edition or Limited Edition. It'll probably come in, um, as I... As with Metal Gear Solid 4, it is in the it's like little sleeve box here with the uh, Yoji Shankawa's artwork. It will probably see something similar to this, or something uh, completely different to it. But if it does have, a, if there is a collector's edition, you might see some similar features from the subsistence side. But again, it's up there, so and it'll probably cost more too. So, all right, content. Okay, other than the fact that you get Metal Gear Solid 4 in MGO, let's get the basics out of the way. Trophies. One of the one of, one of the most talked about things and one of the most asked for actually asked for feature from the Metal Gear community is can we see trophies in Metal Gear Solid 4 now Konami uh, on their on their uh, on their uh, Kojima podcast um, via the examiner they did say that um, uh, that's other uh, voice uh, the community's voice is being heard we're not ignoring you and they just can't talk about anything right now so granted uh, we will probably see the first information about a re-released version probably at e3 or Tokyo game show if it is if it is uh, re if it is uh, shown up on e3 we could probably um, have a release date for Sometime around, I want to say fall or late summer. So, uh, but over, uh, but overall, um, yeah, trophies. I, I I would love to have trophies in it. Just it gives me a reason to go through Metal Gear Solid Four again for like the hundredth time or something, and just you know unlock trophies. Um, what I, what would probably happen is they would probably round up all the downloadable content for MGO and put it with it with the MGO uh, starter kit so when you do start playing Metal Gear Online you have all the downloadable content included I hope that they use the PlayStation Network ID instead of the Konami ID because seriously the Konami ID is stupid and confusing it it hurts new players to be the, to be like they have to go through all these steps and all these signups just to, you know, make an account. You know, so it, it might it has definitely boarded people away, and some others got confused until they finally got it. But yeah, other than that, we could pr we'll probably see a similar theater mode with including all the cutscenes from Metal Gear Solid 4, including possibly parody uh, parody cutscenes as well. Uh, we might also see Metal Gear and Metal Gear. Two Solid Snake up in its updated re-released form with uh, English translations, which is also included in Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, which I liked actually. I liked it a lot. And uh, other content could probably be some uh, bonus missions, both you know VR type or parody. Um, and uh, we probably will see some preview uh, preview trailers or concept art or all that stuff for both Metal Gear Solid 4 and Metal Gear Rising. So that's what we're probably that's what will probably be. Well, this is Flip Talker here talk about an opinion on what the re-release version of Metal Gear Solid 4 will, 4 will be, in my own opinion, here on the PS3 Gaming Blog. Thank you for listening. <laughs>